Presuming that your site has been set up to include a secure area, here is a tutorial showing you how to add user, client or members and associated secure pages. Step 1. Creating a new member group. Click Members under Account Manager and then click New Group. Add a title and for the purposes of this tutorial I'll use a fictitious company called Acme Camps. And Save and close. That is our new member group created. Step 2. Create a new member. Click Members under Account Manager and New Member and Enter the details here. And a password. And select the member group that we need here, Acme Camps. Check Allow Login. And put in a password, Acme. Uh, sorry, a username, then a password, and confirm the password, and save and close. We've now created a new member. Step 3. Create a new page within the site structure. Uh, we'll click New Page and indicate that we want this page to go within the secure client area. <coughs> Put in our page name and for the purposes of this tutorial I'm just going to quickly paste that into our and our description. Uh, leave the page alias empty. Um, we change the robots type to no index, no follow. That will ensure that the search engines cannot index this page. We need to protect the page and we need to select the member group which in this instance would be Acme Camps. We need to check the do not search and that will make sure that this page is excluded from any um, site search uh, index. Um, we want to hide from navigation and change from default to show never. Um, that will ensure that this page isn't included in the site, site index. We're going to hide the page um, from the site map module here. And that's it, we've set up our new page. We click Publish Page and Save and Close. Step 4. Now we need to uh, select a page that will be displayed after a successful login. Um, to do this, we need to edit the member group. So edit Acme Cabs. Select the checkbox redirect on login and change selection. And select the page that we've just created. Uh, here's the one for Acme Cabs. And save and close. Step 5. Upload any specific documents. 
uh, such as price lists. To complete this, we go into File Manager. Um, we'll see here the uh, folders that have already been created. We want to create a new one within our member folder here. So we click New Folder. Uh, indicate that we wish it to go into the members folder and um, put in a folder name here not forgetting that um, files and folder names should all be lowercase and not include spaces so um, we'd use this format Acme Caps save and close we can see our new folder that's been created here and click File Upload, indicate that we wish it to go into our Acme Cabs folder, choose the file that we want to upload, there's one that I prepared earlier, uh, select that one, see that it's selected here, um, click Upload Files, and we can see here that it's been successfully uploaded. Um, we can go back and that's step 5 completed uploading the document step 6 now we need to edit the article that the member user or client will be viewing in the, in the front end and to complete this we edit articles um, at the bottom here we should have our Acme Cabs page, we click the pencil icon to edit the article. Um, there's no elements yet in our article, so we can click New Element, select that we want it to go at the top here, which it has to as it's the first element within the page. Um, give our page a headline. secure page. Um, we can put in the text for our page um, here. Um, uh, if we want to link to our article that we uploaded, we can complete that by selecting the text here, um, inserting a link and selecting our file that we uploaded here there's our PDF there um, give the document the title insert and that's created a link for us and save and close Step 7, this is the final step. Now that we've um, completed editing our article for our um, prior member, um, we need to test that all the steps that we've taken um, have been completed successfully. And to do this, we can go to the front end and uh, in our login box, enter our username and our password. And we can either click login or press enter. And there we go. Uh, we've successfully logged into our secure client page. Uh, only this client, Acme Camps, um, or anyone with uh, this username and password will be able to access this page and any documents that's contained within it. And that's the end of this tutorial.